Okay, I'm going to walk through some code. As you can see, I'm using the format uh, that the exam board provided for this particular example, just so you can see how this would work. Okay, so the, what this is actually going to do is this is going to take drinks orders. Okay, so it's going to count how many of each drink the, that somebody actually ordered. So the first three are just checking how many people are actually ordering which drink. I'm t including no drink because I'm going to class that as I need to know how many people there are in the group. Okay, so the first thing is I'm setting up a variable called choice in that I'm going to decide what the person wants. Okay, I'm not going to actually get it from the user in this particular case. I'm going to set it up myself, but you can do that. The next variable is layout. What I'm going to do is use that to show you how to do formatting a bit later on of the output. And then we've got the actual drinks. This is what you could take from the input, but at the moment I'll just set it as a, a, a um, array quickly. So T is for T, C is for coffee, and N would be no choice, but I haven't got any that are no choice. Okay, so the next bit. The next bit is the main program. What this is going to do is it's going to go through the array and it's going to check what the value is in each of the elements in the array. So it's going to start off by saying four choices in drinks. So it's going to start with choice zero and it's going to say is the choice, which is T, equal to T? Well, it is. So it will do this piece of code. So it will add T num plus one to T num. That means that 0 plus 1, t num has just become 1. Okay, it doesn't do the rest because it doesn't need to. So it's then going to get to the end and it's going to loop back again. And it's going to move on to the next element in the array. So now the next element, element 1, is t. So it's going to say, is it equal to t? The answer is going to be yes. It's going to add 1 to num t. It'll then loop back again and go on to the next one. So this time it will hit the else, else if statement and it will add one, okay? So anything else in that, or anything else recorded apart from T and C will add one to the no drinks list at the bottom. Okay, so this line, what that's gonna do is gonna print equals all the way along underneath what I want to have. And I've decided I'm going to have 30 of those. So what it's saying is, for this, print this 30 times. Okay, so I'm going to end up with equal signs underneath my bracket. And then this is saying, using the same layout as you just used for printing out the headings here, I want you to print out the coffee number, the number of tea, the no drinks, and the length of the array, which tells me how many orders there were in total. Okay. So what we need to now do is just see if that's worked. Okay, so this is a copy of the output. Uh, it's done the equals for me, and if you count them, there are actually 30. Uh, it's also given me uh, gaps, so it's given me the table layout that I was after. It's left six uh, things for the table, so there's the six. Okay, the reason there's a gap, there's a little more of a gap with some of them, is some of them, there's also, there was also two spaces in the code. So if you look here, there are two spaces there, okay? So now what that means is I can now set up tables and have them how I, how I want.